Hey everybody! Oh my goodness, guys, it is day 60. Day 60. I have made it to the end of my 60 day juice fast. I started off with wanting to do 28 days, and that was the Jason Vale Super Juice Me program. Um, I just love how the Lord brings the right thing into my life at the right time, and it happens all the time and this time I was you know we were in a really sad spot we just lost our fourth baby um, we have three boys already and we've got a nine-year-old we've got a seven-year-old and we've got a one-year-old and in between our nine and our seven-year-old we lost a baby and then in between our seven-year-old and our one-year-old I mean sorry in between after our one-year-old we were pregnant again and then we lost our baby and so I was in a really sad spot and really massive I was 85 kilos and my I was talking to some friends we'd gone for a hike with some friends and we were having a chat and um, you know I was just saying about how I really wanted to get healthy and it was just such a wake-up call for me to lose the baby and to realize what a gift and I already knew like babies are such a gift and life is so fragile and um, so losing the baby was such a wake-up call for me to know that I need to get my health back on track I need to get healthy I need to get fit I need to lose the weight and so um, I was at that point and we'd gone for a hike with some friends and I was just telling them how I really felt like I needed to lose my weight and they said that they were going on a juice fast and that they do 28 days now in all my life I think I've only ever done three days of a juice fast um, I think it was three days it could have been seven I don't know but all of those days were super hard and I was like oh well sounds drastic and it kind of sounds like what I need so okay I'll join you I said to them little did I know they were gonna say this was on on the Sunday and little did I know they were gonna say to me that they were actually starting their juice fast on the Monday so I just said that's fine I'll do it with you and so they said to me look we we will go for as long as you decide to go for it is a 28 day program they said get the app um, they showed me how to prep all the veggies and the fruit and I was on the way um, and so I said fine okay I'm, my goal is to do 28 days I need a life change uh, in 28 days you break a habit I was addicted to food I just adored food in fact I still adore food but just in a different way now but I adored food I was making uh, apple crumble every night almost and eating most of it I was in a bad way but I loved food so I knew 28 days to break a habit I'm gonna do this so anyway, I pray, you know, just thank the Lord. I said, thank you, Jesus. You've brought me into this. Um, you've brought my friends at the right time. And I just need your strength to get through this. Your word says that um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I'm standing on that. And here we go. So anyway, off we went. And every day they would get in touch. How are you going? How's your juice fast? I don't know secretly I really think they probably thought I just wasn't gonna do it at all I was gonna flake out at day three or day seven I don't know that's what I think because I mean I was 85 kilos I was addicted to food who wouldn't think that right so anyway um, on and on it went day seven day eight day nine day ten carried on you know every day just the first 20 days were the hardest hardest days of my life I've given birth to three baby boys with no um, a medical intervention in terms of epidurals or anything like that just supernatural strength from the Lord again and that stuff was easy compared to the first 20 days of my juice fast I am a homeschool mom so I'm at home with the boys all day and I've got three boys and you know how much boys like to eat so basically I was cooking three meals a day and giving snacks out twice a day as well and I was so grumpy and upset and ridiculously angry 
um, because it was just so hard to cook that food, smell that food, hand the food out and not be able to eat it and just be on juice. So it was a very hard time and I pushed through and made it past to 28 days, made it to 28 days and couldn't believe it. By that stage, I had lost probably about nine kilos. Um, I'm sure it was nine kilos. Yeah, it was about nine kilos I'd lost after the 28 days. And I was happy, but I wasn't, I wasn't elated. Like I felt like I was on this, I was climbing this mountain, like this was my Mount Everest, climbing this mountainous Mount Everest um, of food addiction. And I felt like I was only halfway to the top at 28 days. And so I had to decide what I was gonna do. And I said to my friends, I said, listen, Beck and Paul, I'm thinking of doing another two weeks because I still got a bit of weight to lose and I, I really want to get there. And they said to me, I don't think you should do an two weeks. I think you should do another 28 days. Oh man, that was so hard to hear. And I really wanted to do it. And so, and I really wanted to conquer my weight issue and my food. And so I thought, no, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it but I've such a mental struggle to think I've just gotten to the point where I was finishing my juice fast and now I'm deciding to go again so that was so hard to get over but just the amazing Joe Cross Fatsy Canelli did I I sent him a text on Instagram not expecting a reply because it's Joe Cross and he's so busy and you know he's got other things to do um, and I asked, I just said, how did you do 60 days? Like here I am at 28 days. I'm, I'm thinking of committing to another 28 and it's so hard for me. Something's blocking me. Like I just want to do it, but at the same time, I've got a real blockage. And he wrote back, he sent me a voice message. He said, um, I really think it's because you committed to 28 and now you just need to push through that mental battle of you've got to do this again. And just make the commitment in your mind and and just push through those thoughts of oh, I'm doing it again he said once you get to about 30 days you're gonna be okay and truth be told I definitely was okay once I got to about 30 days and once I decided no I'm doing it and I'm pushing through and so anyway there was another 28 days and each day got easier each day juicing just became a part of life and it's what I did and it's what I loved and I saw the results of it. Now I'm at day 60. I'm at day 60. I have finished my juice fast and I have lost 17 kilos altogether. I am so thrilled. I still have another nine kilos to go. My goal weight when I started this was to get to 65. That would be a 20 kilo loss from 85. But now I really wanna to get to 58. So I've got about nine kilos to go. And I'm super excited for that. Um, the next part of my journey, oh my gosh, I don't know. Like I feel so lost thinking, what am I going to do tomorrow? What I'm really craving for, the foods I'm craving for the most, I'm craving for hummus. I'm craving for a big Asian salad with chili and um, coriander and um, peanut sauce. And I'm also craving a lot for soup. So that's going to be part of the day tomorrow somewhere. Um, my poor husband, he started the 28 days, my, he started 28 day juicing as well in the second week of my second 28 days. And so he finishes on Monday and I really wanted to push through with him and keep juicing till Monday. But you know what? I really also just want to say I've done it and I want to eat. So yes, um, that's my journey. So many things have happened on the journey. Um, some wonderful things like I was diagnosed with adult asthma um, during my pregnancy with my last baby. But I haven't used my asthma pump since I started the juice fast. I had two asthma pumps, a preventer and a normal asthma pump. I haven't used them and so that's been thrilling. Um, I've gotten a lot fitter. I walk every day. Um, and I used to do my exercise at night as well, doing some hip hop and stuff, but I need to get back onto that train. Um, what else has happened? Gosh, apart from the weight loss, um, no body odors at all. There were other things, but 
I have other videos showing my journey. Um, they will be coming up here as I get them ready and it will show from day zero all the way up to where we are now, bar a few days where I didn't do a video. But yeah, it's been amazing. I have to say, I'm so grateful for Jesus and his strength to get me through 60 days of juicing. There were some things that I did. Um, Jason Vale has lovely coaching videos and he did say that if you do feel like you need a cheeky something have half an avocado um, so some days with some of the juices there was actually half an avocado in the juices and this one lemon beetroot one when i zhuzhed up the um because you have to juice sometimes and then add the avo with a in a smoothie sort of form and when i did that i really didn't like the taste of it so i would eat the avocado and just shush up the rest so yeah it's been wonderful anyway if you have any questions whatsoever um please ask in the box below please subscribe if you like what you hear because a lot of different things are going to come on this channel it is mostly about juicing but actually it's going to be about all things so yep so hit the subs subscribe button if you like it give me a thumbs up because i'd love to hear your feedback in that way as well and i hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy what's to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.